Hello, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop. This is your girl, TT. Please hit the like on your way in. We'd like to thank all of our new subscribers, and if you have not already, please consider doing so. Today, we're going to be talking about the NBA playoffs and play-ins. There were 15 games played in the NBA Sunday to wrap up the 2023-2024 regular season. Some of these determined playoff berths and positions. Let's look at the games and the impacts some of the games held. In the Eastern Conference, the Magic, Pacers, and 76ers all had a win-loss record of 46 and 34, which meant a possible playoff berth. To advance to the playoffs, the 76ers needed to win their game and have either the Magic or the Pacers lose to guarantee them a spot in the playoffs. The Magic and the Pacers won their game. Not controlling their destiny, the 76ers were knocked into the play-ins tournament. In the Western Conference, the Phoenix Suns and the Pelicans were fighting for that remaining guaranteed playoff seed. For the Suns, to advance to the playoffs, they would have to win their game and have the Pelicans lose. The Pelicans controlled their destiny and only needed to win their game to secure their playoff berth. The Pelicans would go on to lose to the Lakers, handing the Suns the last playoff spot and knocking themselves down to the play-ins tournament. Let's explain the play-in. There are eight teams, four in the East and four in the West, trying to win to secure the seventh and eighth playoff seed in each conference. The team's rankings are seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. The seventh and eighth seed will have two opportunities, whereas the ninth and tenth will be a one and done situation. The 7th and 8th teams will face off against each other, with the winner advancing to the playoffs, and the loser will face the winner of the ninth and 10th seed. Next, let's look at the teams that are fighting to escape the play-ins and earn a spot in the playoffs. We will start in the Western Conference, since these games will be played first on Tuesday, April 16th. The first game will feature the Lakers taking on the Pelicans, a rematch of the game played on Sunday, which pushed the Pelicans to the play-in tournament. The Lakers were in the play-ins last year, not only escaping, but making it to the Western Conference Finals, where they were swept by the Denver Nuggets. If the Lakers win, they will take the seventh playoff spot and will match up against Denver. Is this just a prolonged end to the Lakers season, or will they find a way to get past Denver? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If the Lakers lose this game, they will have another bite at the apple to secure the 8th spot playing with the winner of the ninth and 10th seed matchup. The second game at 10 p.m. is the Warriors versus the Kings. This is also a rematch of sorts. The Warriors knocked the Kings out of the playoffs last year. So this is very simple for the Kings when to advance to the playoffs or lose and go home. Let's move on to the East. These games will be played on Wednesday, April 17th. The first game is the Heat versus the 76ers. This is insane that these two teams are in the play-ins. Like the Lakers, Heat escaped the play-ins last year and made it into the NBA Finals, where they also lost to the Denver Nuggets. If the Heat win, they will take the seventh playoff spot and will match up against the New York Knicks. A very winnable series. Do you agree? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If the Heat loses this game, they will play the winner of the 9th-10th matchup for a chance to secure the 8th playoff spot. In the 9 p.m., Hawks faces the Bulls. The winner will have an opportunity to play the loser of the 7th-8th matchup for a chance to secure the 8th playoff spot. Outside of the Hawks and the Bulls, the play-in teams that can escape the play-ins can very well be contenders, winning it all and becoming the next NBA world champion. What say you? Let me know in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe to help us grow the channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.